guys. <laughs> um, welcome back to my channel and we're gonna do something a little different as you can tell. This is the shelf that is directly behind me when I sit right here to film and I spent like all weekend cleaning out this room and organizing it and I was gonna do um, like an organization, like a series of organization stuff for all the drawers and stuff, but I wanted to test the waters with this, and I'll tell you why. Um, I don't want the hate. <laughs> so, I'm going to go through this bottom with you guys right now, and I'm gonna see how this is received, and how you guys feel about this, and if you like it, and want to see more of it, we'll do more. Otherwise, this will be a one and done series, which is fine with me. I just, you're not going to see me. I'm just going to pull stuff out, show you, and then say like, am I going to get rid of it? On and on. Um, if I am going to get rid of it, I'll tell you like what I'm going to do with it and stuff like that. So, um, let's just get started. So the first, the first one is the Avatar palette. This is actually like a super, super cheap palette. It's one of the ones that like, you know, that you get in like TJ Maxx or something. And, um, I actually got this a, like a work thing. So it's got like your mirror here and then, you know, it's like all the avatar, av what? avatar people. Um, it is cute. I, I do want to see the quality of them before I just get rid of it. But I actually might part with this just because these are not really ones I'd reach for. And if I would, Unless I do a video with it, I'm probably not going to use it, so we'll see if we do a video, and if we do, I'll try it. If not, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> okay. I got all of these at the same time. Um, this is a Lilo and Stitch, like, a Christmas palette. So you got Scrump up here, and then you got this. This one I might actually keep because it is pretty, like, Stitch-themed, which I think is cute the colors of scrump and then like stitch colors and stuff so I might actually keep her or just I want to try some quality product and just see um I got these for like 50 cents but apparently allegedly I don't know if you can see that but they retail for like 16 90 um if you're paying 16 dollars for this please 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 go buy a like better palette <laughs> just gonna be honest okay and then this is the Valentine's Day one from Stitch. This is cute because it's themed after him and I think is her name Angelica or Angelina. I can't remember. Also, you're probably gonna hear my dryer. Sorry. <laughs> um, also, I was gonna see if you could see me. Bro. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, um, these are cute. They have shimmers. I want to see the quality of the shimmers. Then we've got the fill-ins. This is cute, but I genuinely just don't think I'll ever use her. Um, I think I'm going to do a video testing the quality of these, and then we'll decide from there, because I've got tons of nieces I can give this stuff to if I don't like it. And this I'm actually totally good with parting with. This is the sweethearts one, like, you know, the little candies that come out for Valentine's Day. I'm really good getting rid of this one, so we'll go ahead and put this. I'll probably put this for, like, a gift for my nieces for Christmas because they're really young and, you know, it's a good age to test that kind of makeup with, basically. Okay, I'm going to preface this next brand because there's several with... These are all much, much older palettes, and that's it. <laughs> so, this is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I have wanted to try some of his new stuff. Um, obviously, you know, there were some really racist things that were said, which is disgusting, but I bought this way before his, his original cancellation occurred. So, this is the Thirsty Palette. This is a discontinued palette, and you would quite literally have to cut off one of my limbs or remove an organ before I gave this palette away. So, these colors are stunning. The pigment is gorgeous. We'll be 100% keeping that. Also, a lot of this stuff in the front needs to come off of here anyways. Oh, I can show you. Let's, can we do, should we, let's intermission, intermission for these because they were on the floor. The Pure Cosmetics. 
Cosmetics Trolls World Tour. Uh, this one is the Rock Palette. Yep, I honestly bought this for that shade in the center there. <laughs> and then it says, Rock is Life. Anyway, and then this is Country Western. Sorry, I'm look. there's a light directly in my face, so otherwise this quality would have been atrocious. <laughs> I can't even get it open. We might have to do this in multiple parts. This one is actually pretty cute. I'm very tempted. These have made it through multiple declutters because I have never tried them yet. And I really, I'm really comfortable getting rid of the rock one. I think I'm going to get rid of the rock and we'll keep the country. Okay, back to Jeffree Star. I have quite a few of the original ones. There have been so many that have come out since these palettes. So we've got Blood Money. This is my newest one. And of course, if you know anything about Jeffree Star Cosmetics, all of these were in like really, really fancy packaging. Uh, so you, you know, squeeze this and it comes open like a suitcase. And of course it is green. Sorry, I turned off the blind you. I love this palette. If I, I've gone out for the St. Patrick's Day multiple times and this is the palette I use. It's so pretty. Um, I love all the different pressed stuff in it. That one is iconic. And it's like a ski mask. They're so cute. Um, so we're obviously keeping her. Of course, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes are not going anywhere. I love them too much. Blue Blood. Blue Blood is probably my favorite. Either Blue Blood or uh, Blood Sugar, one of the two. This is gorgeous. If you've been around here for a while, you know I love my blues. I love my blues. I wear a lot of blue. I am wearing blue right now. And I also wear blue makeup a lot. Like, well, I call it tasteful. You might disagree, that's fine. Um, do really, really like this palette. So, she's staying. Uh, okay. Blood sugar. Um, this is my, if I do a red look, pretty much ever, um, because I don't do reds much at all, this is my red palette. <laughs> This is like the only one I've got. Um, I have some that have reds in them, but if you were to go for an all red palette, this is it. I don't have others. I don't want others. This is the red palette in my collection and I'm cool with that. Now you're gonna look at this and be like, you've never used any of these. So I'm really weird about collecting stuff, especially with the little prints in them. So I go around the stars. <laughs> Um, you can see where I've given up on this one because I use the white a lot, but like generally speaking, like on this one or whatever, I'll go under it or above it. I don't, I don't use the, the impression, which is like so crazy and ridiculous. And I know that, but it's just the truth. So I could lie to you, but what's the point in that? Um, well, we've got this one. The Jeffrey, this is the original, the Duh Beauty Killer. This palette was my bread and butter when I bought it. This was like, I got it on sale one time and it was the highlight of my year when I bought this palette. That was freaking probably like nine years ago at the absolute least. This is a relic. These two shades were so, are so gorgeous and this these little trio right here. You couldn't tell me anything with that little trio. I loved it. Anyways, she's a relic and she is filthy. We're keeping her. Okay. Now I actually think there's some I can get rid of down here. Also, that's not the point of these videos. The point of these videos is like an organization, but I will tell you if I'm getting rid of stuff. I Heart Makeup Revol or Make I Heart Revolution Elf. This is like for their collab. Um, this is a really cool palette. It's you know got your little like all of the little pieces to it, right? Layers, I guess. I've never used it ever. Like uh, this has got. 
plastic on it. This has survived so many declutters purely based off of the fact that it's like a limited edition thing. I think I'm actually going to give this to one of my friends. It's a cute palette and it would be good for somebody who like doesn't have a lot of, you know, palettes because you have like, these are more neutral pastel-y and then you've got like kind of a vibrant green undertones and then like a really vibrant one and then your neutrals so it really does cross all of the like the boxes normally and right here it says omg santa i know him um i also loved this movie and this was all i was able to get my hands on in this collection uh which is another reason why i've kept it because i if had i had like a bag or something from it i probably would have already gotten rid of it but she's a tbd as well I'll make the decision on that. This actually probably will go to one of my friends because I'm just kind of over it. Uh, let's see. <sighs> an OG, an OG, OG. This is um, actually, should we? We'll wait on her. Give me a second because I'm trying to go by brand, but it's kind of all over the place. Uh, Wet and Wild Nautical Nonsense by your boy. Um, this is SpongeBob from the SpongeBob collection. Um, I will say the quality of these is mid at best. Um, and by mid at best, I mean mid at best. This is not that great of a palette. Um, I have actually scraped some of this just to get some pigments. Um, but look at all of the little embeds in it. The jellyfish, the Krabby Patty, the little star, or the flower. I will not be getting rid of this palette. Um, I think it is absolutely stunning, and the collector in me just literally will not and isn't going to part with it, so there you go. Okay. 100% sure that I'm getting rid of this. So, this is the Sakura and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow Palette by Seraphim Cosmetics. So, I'm going to be honest, this is a small business, so I have no issue with this palette. It comes with blush, and then there's eyeshadows. No problem with it at all. Um, I don't think it's the most pigmented thing in the world, but I don't think it's bad. But, there is not a shade in here that I don't already have multiple of nor am I interested in continue like it doesn't make me want to reach for it so I am not going to there is a place that this could get so much more use and that is where this will go so she's gonna go to somebody <laughs> we've got the Nomad palette uh, Venice and Simpleton Express Sim yeah Simple Simple and Simple and oh my god I can't read. Um, I will also say there are a lot of palettes that are like small on businesses and stuff. And if I declutter one, it's not out of rudeness. I'm just not interested. Okay. Uh, this is really pretty. It is like, it reminds me so much of like the Great Gatsby, like that old era. It's really, really, really pretty. Um, I actually, okay, before I get rid of this, I will try this out because I don't want to just toss it. Like, I don't want to toss it. I'll just give it to somebody, but I don't want to just get rid of it out of my collection without even trying it first. So we'll try her first. These, these two palettes I got for so cheap at TJ Maxx, I think. Um, <laughs> I could, I could say these. I just don't know if I should. Uh, this is Cara Beauty. They're made in, uh, or the, I'm sorry, Cara Beauty US. Okay, so we've got La Dama de Flores, which is this one, which is so pretty. And then we've got, I can't even read it, La Chica Enamorada, which is even prettier. <laughs> um, these are so, so stunning, and I love them. I'm going to put them at the top for, or I'm going to put them up for more use. Um, I love this collection. I don't even know if you can find these anymore. Um, I haven't seen them in a long time. I used to see them all the time at like Marshalls and TJ Maxx, but I haven't seen them in forever. This is going to be a longer video. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Me trying not to make a bunch of noise. Okay. Wretched Romance. This is a She Glam palette. I got this forever and ever and ever ago. Um, clearly around Halloween. <sighs> Can I tell you why I bought this? I bought this for this like blood splatter shade. 
I'll tell you one reason why I'm actually really, really eager to declutter this one, even though I think they're gorgeous and like the pressed glitters are nice, I won't lie, for the price point especially. Try and get a brush or anything in that. You get a brush, here's what I've done, and I've done this before, in these like inner circle ones. You put your brush in there and as soon as you start picking up product, you hit the edges and it scrapes all the product back off and it's just it's impossible it's impossible to get anything out of it and then okay like there is just i don't know i don't feel like this is something that i will re ever reach for so this will go to somebody else because truly i don't think there's anything in it i want to get into loose glitters i, I do or press glitters i mean but I just don't think there's anything in it for me. Not that one. Okay. Oh wow, you can't even see that. What is, I can't even see it. Zoeva Artisto. This is a really, really cute palette. Um, again, this has made it through a million, billion, a trillion declutters. I've used it a couple of times. I don't care for the pigment. I don't think it's really all there. I don't really get a lot for it. I don't like the colors that much. They're not really colors I reach for. And truthfully, she hasn't made it this time. She's gone. <laughs> um, like, I could tell you more, but there's just no point. Um, right off the bat, I can, I'll talk about it, but I can tell you that this one's gone. <laughs> uh, this is the Cream Sock Shop So Shady Moonlit. I kept this. I had two of these, and this was the one color I decided to keep. Um, I love my purples. I love this shade up here. Um, I do think these are pretty. I don't care for the two down here. I kept them solely for the two up there. Um, they are really nicely pigmented. They do blend pretty nice. I think there are better quality. They're pretty, pretty powdery. Um, I've also noticed them to be quite a bit patchier than I'm interested in, and for two of the four to not be my style, it's not worth keeping, and I am, I've got these two shades in other things, so she's gone. This is IBY for Fireside Palette. This was made for Ipsy. I have had this since I had my Ipsy box, obviously. I have never, ever understood this color story. You cannot explain this color story to me. It has, they call this shade Evergreen, and I get it, like campfire tree, okay? But this green makes no sense in this palette none whatsoever. It does not match with a single thing that is in this palette. Not a second of it does it make sense. This is a palette that will not complete a look if you use this green. You've got to go out of the palette to get other stuff, and I'm actually kind of over that these days. I want everything to be in one palette, and I love her. I appreciate her. She served her time, but she's gone. This is La La Beauty, and it's called, this is called Hashtag Give Them La La. Um, oh my gosh. <laughs> this palette, ironically, is wedding-themed. Stepmom, the wife, boss lady, Prince of Bel-Air, Cabo Kisses, say yes, I do, blah, blah, blah. Um, there is a time and a place to love this palette, and I love, I do, I, it's called the Grown Woman Palette. Right here, Grown Woman Palette. And I will not disrespect this shade here in the middle. I love me a good red-ish tinted shade. But she needs love from somebody else. And it's not me. Um, again, nothing wrong with it. I don't despise it or anything. I just think it's... There's nothing I don't have. It's not... You know what I mean? I can do that with any other palette pretty much out here already. So I was done with her. This is another Cara Beauty one. This is Purple Haze. Um, I don't feel good about keeping the or keeping this one. Well, yeah, keeping this one and also keeping this one. Um, saying that this would make a 
months and we've still got quite a bit we might have to tbd this this might be a part one should i make a long video you want y'all want a long video we might make a long video we'll see so this is a space what is this called space case cosmetics right yeah this is a quad it's gorgeous the colors are nice very neutral very pretty I have this a thousand, a thousand times over at least. My thing with this one is that it is quite literally copy and paste of everything ever. Gorgeous small business, really good palette, nice little quad, but there, it, it, I have this already. Like, I just don't need it. I don't reach for it. It needs a new one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just move these, these big ones. We will, we will get there. We will talk about them. I promise. I'm just going to move them. Okay. Um, sorry, my arm was itchy. Okay. What's the... Okay, this is Moods by Laura Sanchez. And so when you... Oh gosh, so when you open it, it's like a full thing. Um, This is... Why did it just get so much darker? What just happened? Anyways, this is a cute palette. The color story, again, doesn't make sense to me. I don't get it. You you are going to have a very, very, very hard time matching that yellow to anything. Um, it just doesn't make sense. It's got highlighters down here. I'm getting rid of her. I, I've, I've never tried her, I don't think, so I don't know, but color story doesn't make sense and again like I said if it doesn't make sense I can't use it only one like in one situation oh I know why the lighting changed did that make it better I don't think it did hold on let me drop the light well now you can see the light Jesus the most b-tech youtuber to exist I swear down Hold on one second. Okay, sorry for the lighting change. <laughs> I had to get my ring light because this light died pretty much. It's not, it's not really bright enough to help us out. So anyways, um, actually, can I make this brighter? It just fell over too. I'm really having a hard time. You bring me into a new setup, man. And I'm just, I just don't know how to act. Okay, is that okay? All right, we're gonna have to let it go. Anyways, sorry for the lighting. <laughs> All right, so what was I even doing? Oh yeah, okay, so you can see me getting rid of those. Okay, anyways, um, let's see. Uh, for 
nostalgic reasons. She stays. I wouldn't get rid of the Z palette anyways. Those things are expensive. Okay. We're gonna keep those over here. Okay. I don't, I just don't want everything to fall over. <laughs> too, too late. Okay. So, we have forgot. the year 
here, so we'll keep this, but realistically, other than a makeup artist, there's no point in this. I also don't think they sell them anymore. Here is number five. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you've got your shimmers and your mattes, and there is like a mixing palette that can swing back and forth. This, the blues, are the only reason that this stays from, from here down. From there down on both sides is the only reason this has stayed. I don't mind greens, but I feel like greens look kind of weird on me. The blues, I love the blues. So, she's staying too. I also, before I get into this last little tiny corner, let me push these out of the way, this corner right here. I want to preface by saying I understand the amount of makeup that I have. It is not a normal amount of makeup. I've been collecting for years. It is a collection. Um, you collect baseball cards. I collect makeup. That's just my bread and my butter. And I've been slowing down on buying makeup because I have so much. But realistically, this is a collection and, I'm, and I enjoy it. So leave me alone. Okay, so... Other than this little few pieces right here, we are pretty much exclusively in the Makeup Revolution section, which is fine with me. So let's get, because I think this is where I'm going to be able to really get rid of some stuff. So let's get to it. This is the Chandler palette from Friend, the Friends collection. Um, I love how I said that, and then I'm immediately keeping the first one. This is, you can see how much I've used this. This is one of my favorites. I love this. I love the colors. I like the greens. I think this is actually one of the more, like, innovative Makeup Revolution palettes. I have the two of the Pro Lux palettes. I have the New Neutral Blushed, and I have the New Neutral Lux Shadow palettes. I'll show you both. This is the Lux Shadow Palette, and this is the Blushed. These are Huda Beauty dupes. We can sit around here and beat around the bush all we'd like. These are Huda Beauty dupes. This still has the packaging on it, and this, I have since gotten the palette that this is duped off of, and as great as these are, I'm done with them, so I'm going to give those to a friend. Okay. We have got the Bratz Chloe palette. This is going to hurt my feelings, I think, because as much as I want to keep this, I don't reach for it. I don't care for it. And quite frankly, there are only like three ish colors that I would keep it for. And that is just not enough of a reason to keep this palette around. So she's gone as well. Simpsons Treehouse of Horror, Horror Palette. I can't get it open. Okay. This palette I actually really like, and I like the random colors in here. I know that's kind of against everything I've said, but this is intentionally random, and there are a lot of nice shades in this, and the performance is pretty good, so I will keep her. We have the Friends Lobster Palette. I have really gone back and forth with, do I keep this palette? Do I not? It has made its way through multiple declutter videos. Uh, or not videos, but multiple declutters. And <laughs> do I keep it? Do I not? Blah, 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 whatever. Although, I'm truly looking at it now. It's boring. It's bland. It's done out. It's washed. I'm over it. So we're getting rid of her. Which, if you know me, that's a big deal because I actually really liked that stuff the palette at one point. So I just realized I said we had like nothing left and we just got probably still like 10 minutes worth of stuff. <laughs> Which is this one? 
looks like this and I've got one true love which looks like this I'm gonna tell you truthfully honestly hand to heart I'm getting rid of these <laughs> I got these if we're probably honest with each other I think these came out when the glitter cases were super popular and I thought it was cute that they had a palette that did the same thing that the glitter cases do and they are cute but look at all that packaging and the palette is that thick that is just to sustain the glitter water and the mirror that's how thin so there's like first of all there's like nothing in this but also sorry but also i just there's just no point it's cute but I, it's it's overdone and i'm over it and the last two i think okay i found another one so the last three makeup um makeup revolution these two are from the same collection this is this is the harley quinn and the joker so we got Harley Quinn and Joker. I'm keeping these. I loved the movie uh, Suicide Squad, so that's why I got these. And I like the colors. Now saying that, this is the Neon Palette in Electric Dreams. This was, again, a, a dupe of the Huda Beauty ones, the Nine Pans. She had her moment. She was cute. She's gone. I don't wear those shades, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay, now. Um, I moved two palettes off to the side. They're like history for me, so they're not going anywhere. Um, now, we've got three brands. We've got Jeffree Star, the rest of MAC, and Ciate London. So let's, we're going to have to pick up the pace a little bit. We've got four MAC palettes. So these are the like skinny thin ones so we've got power hungry which looks like this these are not going anywhere these are so cute i travel with these quite a bit basic bitch which is exactly what she sounds like a very basic cool tone palette and queen's supreme which is kind of like if the two of these had a baby it would be this one these are all staying i love them they're super thin they're super small and they travel really well so those are staying um this is also staying the mac 15 pan this is the warm warm neutrals yeah warm neutral palette i don't know if they make this it's like og this is one of the first luxury mac products i've ever actually this might be the first luxury mac product i ever had so she will not be going anywhere i used the mess out of this palette and this palette meant a lot to me so she's saying okay Ciate london we can probably fly through these two spike what is it called spice spice palette oh i can't even get it open okay spice palette uh she's gone i think i just i'm sick of this packaging these like super wide like nine pans i think she's i think i'm gonna give her to somebody oh my gosh um okay so then we've got the editor palette oh my gosh these are getting so hard to open my battery's dying okay the editor palette super cute very very usable for somebody like an everyday type of thing i don't really care for this and she's gone as well this is the velvet the velvet palette this i will be keeping very very nice shimmers and the quality of these are quite nice <laughs> sorry that's my dog um and then we've got the one the collection they did with edna mode so this is actually a really innovative product so you have to line it up and then when you line it up you can pull that part out so you've got that palette part of the palette you've got that blush right there this part of the palette and that blush so two very different color palettes and i like it a lot um i will be keeping this i loved everything they did with the 
this collection. She is a queen, an icon, and a legend, and the way they did this packaging is also queen, iconic, legend behavior, so very excited for that. Put this back together really quick. I'm trying really hard not to make a huge mess. I've got to clean up later. Okay. Alright, so there we go. Keeping her. We've got, we're down to our final few, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. I can actually finally take them off the shelves. Okay. First of all, a piece of history. BH Cosmetics, Shanxo palette. She's staying. This palette was innovative of its time and bh cosmetics is i don't think it, i don't think bh cosmetics is a brand anymore so we're keeping her <laughs> if they are a brand i'm so sorry i have <laughs> two of the mini controversy palettes they came in a set actually together so you've got the one with the uh what's this called the put it back green shade and this one has is without that shade as much as Shane and Jeffree Star have been canceled, and ironically, they've named it the Mini Controversy, this, these palettes are stunning. So if you want to see the true, I don't know if this was ever, I mean, I know it was talked about, but I don't know how long ago it's been since you guys have ever probably seen them like this back to back. So what's the one that's not in here? Exposed, exposed, controversy, controversy, flat earth, flat earth. Canceled, canceled, die root beer, die root beer. Okay, so this one is the one that's not in this with the green. So they all, he also sold this green shade separately. But they had this, when they got canceled, they I think they did a set of these together. And I had someone buy them for me. Like I didn't actually, they, they bought them as a gift. Um, then we've got the mini jawbreaker, or the mini breaker palette. I love this palette. One of my most used Jeffree Star palettes. The purples are unbelievable and they're so pigmented. The oranges are iconic as well. Adore this palette. I'm trying to rush now because this is getting long. <sighs> We've got the Orgy and the Mini Orgy. The Mini Orgy is all the shimmers and they're very neutral and nice. I actually travel with these quite a bit even though this palette is huge <laughs> and Jeffrey's naked body is all over it but this palette is so amazing and when I do makeup for other people I bring this because there are so many shades mm. oh no did I just mess that up no but I did get it all over me so many shades so many neutrals and the mirror is huge and it's just really really nice to have all these different varieties of neutrals when you like travel or you do somebody else's makeup and the last palette is, what is this called? Bloodlust. There are some old school ones I wish I had, but that's okay. Like the Alien palette, I wish I had that one because that's old school, old school. This palette is unbelievable. I love this palette. I love the packaging. It's gorgeous. I wish Jeffrey's palettes were more compact and easy to travel with because I would probably travel everywhere with this. The packaging just makes, I mean, makes it a little bit more difficult, but this is just such a palette. It makes so much sense to me. When I look at it, I can see the looks. I can see the vision, and I love it. And I am a big fan of this. <laughs> so I'm going to reorganize this book or this shelf down here and then I'll come back and show you the finished product okay I totally forgot to show you these two bigger ones so this is the her mannerisms lucid dream loose pigment palette so if you go on the her mannerism her mannerisms website it is let's see if it's on here I am fairly confident it's her mannerisms.com her, I think so. I'm almost positive it is. But if you look up this brand and they have loose pigments and their palette, you can make, you can choose how many you want in the palette and you can make your own. This is a, a, a 15, uh, like pigment, 15 pigment palette, I think is what you'd consider it. But they're little, little pigments and these would last you forever. So I, I picked all of the 
shades, so obviously I'm not gonna get rid of this. And if, if these, they're like all of these are the same color, these two, that one, and these down here, uh, they're not, they have different reflex in them. See that one, this one's the green, and then this one's the blue, see the difference? They're like, they're, um, duochrome, so that's the, the, I think that's the purple one. Yeah, that's the purple one. And then down here is the gold, and that's the actual original, so you can kind of see if the light looks different, so for sure keeping this, this one actually just kind of has to sit like this. And then this is the Rude Cosmetics 70s palette, and there are just a bunch of, oh my god, there are just a bunch of, like, there's six little palettes in here, um, all themed after, like, almost like Barbies, basically, but, um, they're just different palettes with like different little themes. So I have used all of them and I do love this brand. So she is staying as well. So these are just going to sit like right here in the middle. But other than those two, this is how the shelf looks now. And shall we put together a, a stack of all the ones we're getting rid of? Let's do it. Let's stack them all up. So we've got all of these. And then we've got Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then we've got all these. Let's how many that I'm curious. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. So I got rid of twenty-two palettes, which is I think a great start. The shelf looks a lot better. Let me know what you think of this. If you want to see me do this, I could do this for literally months. Like, I could do every single shelf on this, which there are five more in addition to this. There's six total. And then I've got so much that I could do in this desk. So just let me know what you think, and then we'll go from here. So the next up, if you're curious, the next row up is face palettes. So let me know what you think of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Uh, we got a little bit of a longer one for you this time, so 